yourself. You know you could have been more patient. You know you could have been more kind. You know that there was some undercover sin out there. Oh, I, I told y'all my testimony a few weeks about me and my wife. One of the greatest experiences that we had was when we were able to sit down and become naked before each other. When we were able to share with one another what I really did. How I really was. And what it does is it, it, it sets you free. But because the Bible says uh, 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 Jesus came to set us free. Sometimes your secrets will keep you in bondage. He says, whom the Son has set free is free indeed. We're still talking about destroying, defeating the spirit of failure. In this year, many people are grabbing hold of a slogan that one of the presidential candidates are running around. And everybody is quoting, yes we can. And we're getting hyped up. Everybody's getting hyped up and looking at each other. When they look at the news and CNN, and my brother say, yes, you can. And everybody is saying, uh, but Jesus been saying it for 2,000 years. He been saying the same thing. Yes, you can have the victory. Yes, you are an overcomer. Yes, you are. young lady eyes and you can see the spirit of failure in their eyes they're looking as if 
Life is over already. Some of them are 13, 14 years old, and they can't even smile anymore. Y'all don't understand what I'm talking. Y'all, come on. Some of, and we walk by as if it is nothing wrong with them. But every time I walk by them, my heart hurts and my heart grieves simply because I see the spirit of failure already in their eyes, and they rather get hooked up with a gang. They rather get hooked up on drugs. They rather get hooked up on something out there in society because. They experienced at a very young age. But just because you become experienced does not mean that you have had a true experience with God. And yes, you may know how to do it, but the question is, are you doing it right? Oh, come on, somebody. Oh, some of us, we know how to, what they say, slap it up, flip it, and rub it down. But, but are you, have you covered it in holiness? Yes. Have you covered it? Have you sealed the deal at his word? Have you done it at his word? Husbands, love your wives as Christ loved the church and gave his life for it. Husbands, husbands, love your wife as Christ loved the church and gave his life for it. Guess what that takes? That takes some suffering sometimes. Yeah, you work all week and you come home and the bank account is gone, but guess what? Christ loved you when you had mess going on. Husbands, love your wives as Christ. And wives, humble yourselves to your own husbands. Own husbands. Some of us, we have humbled, some women have humbled themselves to so many things that when God does present a good thing your way, you've been so twisted that you can't tell the truth from a lie. And maybe he's not six foot, broad shoulders. Maybe he don't have what you, the outward things, but God is trying to get us to get beyond the outward appearances. Yes. Because there's some good people out here. And God is saying, launch out. Come on, somebody just stand on your feet and say, launch out. Come on, hug somebody and just tell them, launch out. Amen? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Give it again. And, and say, try it again. Amen? Yeah, you messed up. Amen? You did it. Come on, brother. You did it. Amen? But, but, but it's time to get it right. Amen? It's time to launch out and to go a little bit deeper. Amen? 